This is still a familiar position. He knows some escapes. He knows my attacks. And there's not that much pressure. Yes, I can go to a long base side control like this, which has a lot of pressure, but there's not a lot of submissions. So either I go the long base hyper pressure side control pinning pressure, or I have a short base side control and I don't have as much pressure, but I have greater access to attacks and stuff like that because I'm up here, but I don't have that much pressure. So we can kind of be left, if side control is the only cross side pinning position we know, we can kind of be left in this space where we have to choose to attack or choose to keep a position. And we all know we need both. So if he gets an underhook on me, usually that would be trouble, okay? But our headlock control position we're gonna be using tonight, actually I want him doing that. So that's an interesting key. Second of all, whatever side control position I want, I never want his elbow close to his side like this. That is a massive problem for me. If I'm not in this real estate here, he will get my back. Okay, so when I'm in side control on someone here, the first thing I want to do is make sure I can swim on the inside and I want to lift up that elbow. Now, I'm not just doing that with my lap like a dumbbell row, because he gets the dumbbell row. So, I, I don't want to play that game in case he's a lot stronger than me. But what I can do, even if he tries to resist here, is I use my foot and I push off and I pull it up. So now it's my left leg press and my dumbbell row against his dumbbell row. Once I've got his elbow up high, I now need to take that real estate. And I do it by kicking my right leg through. Okay, so now if he tries to get his arm back, nah, I'm here. But I still can't just leave it here. I need to now get my right hand under his head and I latch on to my own right hamstring tendon right here. And now what I'm gonna do is I have to get everything other than my tiptoes off the mat. Unfortunately for poor Pete, that means a lot of pressure. Okay, so I'm here and I only have 20 kilos on him and now I have 95 kilos, okay? So once I'm in that position where I have my butt off the mat, I'm not gonna do that right now because like poor Pete will suffer, but once I'm in that position here where I've got my butt off the mat, he's in big trouble. And that's the first thing we're practicing tonight, guys, okay? So we're gonna be here inside control with our partner and then we're going to lie on our side and pull the arm up. Once we've pulled the arm up, we kick the leg through and now we just grab the head and grab our leg. We keep this foot out here, up on our toes, butt off the mat, okay? This is a very, very high pressure position. You cannot hang out in this all day, okay? So this is a great position. We call this a headlock control, okay? So let's do this with our partners. Get into it five times, and then the other person gets into it five times. One last time here. So we lift up the elbow, we kick our leg through, and we grab the head and latch. But notice how his head is on my forearm like a pillow. This is crucial because what's his escape, guys? He grabs his hands around my body. He runs his feet in. He does a big bridge up and over, okay? And now from here, Peter can set his up. So he's gonna grab my elbow first, pull, kick his leg through, grab my head, grab his leg, and now he gets his butt off the ground. Now I grab my hands together, I run in, I go up and over. And now I'm gonna lift up his elbow, I'm gonna kick my leg through and I grab it, okay? Now for this, we're not gonna get our butt off the ground because we don't wanna take our, our backs or uh, torsos to take too much torque yet. And he grabs his hands around me, he runs in, up and over. And now he grabs my arm, kicks his leg through, grabs it as he grabs around my head. And now I'd grab my hands together and lift him up and over and rinse and repeat. So be careful where you are on the mat. This isn't a falling thing, so you're not gonna kill anyone, but just be careful where you are on the mat, guys, and just do this. This is gonna be our like first technique, our warm-up drill, and then we're gonna get into some of my favorite attacks. Okay, let's go. 
Thanks for watching the video guys, I hope you loved it. For more free videos, click here. And if you'd like to get our free Footlock Masterclass, please click here. And if you'd like to help support me so I can help bring you high level Jiu Jitsu for free every day, please click here. Thank you for watching guys, I'm Coach Tom, I'll see you next time.